Good evening, everyone, and welcome to tonight's uh, City Council meeting for Homewood, uh, date September 25th, uh, 2017. And we will uh, begin tonight with um, uh, a couple of presentations. Uh, first, we have a presentation um, regarding Constitution Week, um, Housey and Batum. Do we have someone here for that? And I think the mayor is going to help us with that. Mayor? Absolutely, that'll be fine. Uh, I travel around with my own photographer everywhere I go, so. Well, actually, we just met, but I found him very good. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's even better. even better. He's your traveling photographer. Don't say that. <laughs> that's yeah. very good. Okay, so what do we do? Well, we're going to face the uh, audience? audience over okay. here, so we'll, we'll let you. Um, do we want to do the presentation? Do you want to let him do the picture? That's perfect. You can tell us the school. You tell me how you want to do it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Well, um, well, I'll tell you about the fourth city council meeting I've been to lately. But I tell you what. Uh, well, first, could I just tell them a little bit about why we do this? Absolutely. Okay. And then I'll read the proclamation yes. and we'll take the okay. picture. Okay. And it's kind of heavy. I'm going to let you hold it. Perfect. Okay. Just, just a few seconds. Oh, I'm on TV. Hey. <laughs> Okay, um, well, I'm in a, yeah, don't take any pictures yet. <laughs> it's only when we're posed, yeah, I'm just going to, all right, well, I'm in an organization called uh, the National Society of Daughters of the American Revolution, meaning that, and any of you can be in this organization, you just have to, you know, do, do the research, and I was lucky that my first cousin did this, but uh, I have a patriot, Larkin Cleveland, that was in the Battle of, um, he was one of the, he was in the Battle of King's Mount. But anyway, I'm very proud to be in this organization. We've, been, we've had this organization, I guess, for 125 years. But um, one of the things we do is promote um, history of our country. We promote patriotism, love of country, and uh, veterans, <coughs> and just history itself, and in 1955, the Daughters of the American Revolution approached President Eisenhower and asked, the, asked him if it would be possible if we could recognize a day and a week to honor our Constitution, which is 230 years old now. Uh, and uh, he, he agreed. And so I guess it had to then be a law by Congress, and I don't remember all the details on that. So every year we like to get proclamations from cities, and I go around and talk to kids about this and Gary Palmer our congressman uh, has a program that he sends out representatives to schools to talk to kids about Constitution and so that's why I'm here today is to remind everybody that the Constitution was drafted on September 17 1787 230 years ago and we want to proclaim uh, the week has actually passed, but the full week is September 17th through the 23rd. And I'm just honored that you would let me come and be here and, and receive the proclamation. Perfect. So you don't read it. Thank, you. thank you very much. So um, I will read in part the um, uh, proclamation. You've brought out a lot of the points that are, that are already uh, in here, so thank you for that. So whereas September 17, 2017 marks the 230th anniversary of the signing of the Constitution of the United States of America at the Constitutional Convention, providing a historic opportunity for all Americans to remember the achievements of our founding fathers and to reflect on the actions of all Americans who for the past 230 years have defined the words of the Constitution by exercising their rights and responsibilities as citizens. And whereas the Constitution is fundamentally predicted on governments by we the people making citizens understanding of the Constitution and its framework an essential element of the future of our country and the civic health of its populace. And whereas December 14, 1819 marks the anniversary of Alabama's statehood 
and in recognition of the signing of the Constitution, the Americans who strive to fulfill the duties and responsibilities, the Congress, by joint resolution of February 29, 1952, designated September 17 as Constitution Day and Citizenship Day, and requested that the President proclaim the week beginning September 17 through the 23rd of each year as Constitution Week. So now, therefore, I, Scott McBrayer, Mayor of the City of Homewood, hereby proclaim the week of September 17 through the 23rd as Constitution Week. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Patton. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. <clears throat> All right, next we're going to also have a uh, presentation from the Chamber of Commerce. Good evening. I'm Meredith Drennan with the Homewood Chamber of Commerce. And um, with me today are, is Mandy Schwarting from Spire. No, not Allegasco anymore, and Steve Preston with Brookwood uh, Medical Center and Tenet Health. Um, and we're here to announce our intentions to partner with the city specifically on um, what has uh, come to our attention through our strategic planning process, which is the potential for us to, to engage with uh, Daniel Communities on um, some economic development services for the city of Homewood. Um, this came to us through our strategic planning process and seems to not only align with our mission and our vision for the city of Homewood, but also what it looks like is coming from this strategic planning process, um, which, which really advocates for um, planning, for um, our, our work with the city being an effective liaison for businesses, for supporting your endeavors in economic development. Um, so we're really excited to, to uh, let you know about our intention to partner at a tune of $35,000 a year for a period of two years. Um, I had a really great conversation with the mayor in which we kind of talked about what we kind of what we vision envision our our role in this is. Um, Alex Wyatt has been been really helpful in in kind of talking us through what potentially that partnership can look like. So we're really excited about it. Um, and on a side note, from a uh, cross section of businesses, we're we're almost unanimously um, supportive of this project, and and we're really excited about what that means for for the city of Homewood. Um, so thank you so much for having us today. We look forward to working with you guys even further and are very excited, pending a budget approval today, that, that we'll be able to work together moving forward. So thank you so much. Great, right, Mary, thank you all. Thank you so much for that, that gesture. All right, and I think we'll, um, I'm gonna go ahead and, and if we can go ahead and do the invocation tonight, and then we're gonna do the pledge after that. Um, well, I guess we're going to, um, yeah, Melody, if we can go ahead and give us a call to order. Uh, you mean your roll call or just call to order? Oh, I'm sorry. We're going to call us to order. Well, we are in okay. order. Okay. Um, no, call, call us to order. We are in order. We've already done that. <laughs> we're, we're here meeting. Um, we are, and with that, we'll go ahead and do the invocation uh, by Pastor Nick Seaborn with the Raleigh Avenue Baptist Church. Thank you. Let us pray. Father, we do give thanks uh, for this day. We thank you for the city of Homewood and that we're able to live here and live as unto you. We pray that you would be with this meeting tonight. We thank you for uh, Mayor Scott McBrayer. We thank you for our elected officials here in the city council. We pray that you would endow them with grace and wisdom, with compassion and integrity, that you would help them to promote righteousness and justice from on high here in this place. We pray that you would grace them with your power and ability and strength, uh, not simply during this meeting, uh, but for their whole term. Father, we come to you as our Lord, as our Father, and we ask that you would hear our prayer. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Thank you for that. And we're going to have Hunter Morales with Troop 79 tonight to lead us uh, in the pledge. Will everyone, will everyone please stand and join me in the Pledge of Allegiance? Pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, 
one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you very much, Hunter. Excellent job. <clears throat> now we'll begin with roll call. Melody? Yes, sir. Um, Mr. Gwaltney? Here. Mr. Thames? Here. Mr. Higginbotham? Here. Mr. Wolverton? Here. Mr. McCluskey? Here. Mr. Jones? Here. Mrs. Smith? Here. Mr. Wyatt? Here. Mr. An Mrs. Andress? Here. And Mr. Wright and Mr. Limbaugh? Here. So Mr. Wright, Mr. Limbaugh is absent. Thank you. Uh, we don't have any minutes uh, for tonight to approve, so we will go on to board vacancies and appointments. And I do need to announce that for an at-large arts council position, we need to reopen that because um, we have not received any applications for that position. So we're going to have to reopen that. Um, do we need to set a deadline for that melody or yes, sir. we just open it reopen it generally just whatever y'all want to do you have done it both ways but all right well uh let's it keeps from having to come back i think to y'all if there are applicants if you set a deadline because then, then we'll know the all deadline. right well let's just let's just leave it open generally without objection and we will handle it that way all right thank you miss salter okay. um on the council agenda items um once again we have world record amendments for tonight um, we're actually going to begin with the amendment to the consent agenda we uh, we will have a consent agenda item 140917 which is a request for consideration of fresh water land trust uh, we also have amendments to the old business agenda as follows 220817 which is a request for consideration to work in the city right away at 104 Ventura Avenue we have 170917, which is a request to work in the city right away at 319 Grand Avenue. We have 080817, which is a request for consideration of a petition for annexation for the property located at 1809 South Brook Circle, formally listed at, uh, incorrectly on our agenda as 402 Cambo Lane. Um, also being added uh, to the old business agenda is 120917 request for consideration for lighting on Lancaster um, 150817 which is a request to consider funding employee bonuses for projected fiscal year 1617 general fund surpluses to be paid in November 2017 we have 160817, which is a request to transfer to capital projects front fund from the general fund projected uh, for fiscal year 1617 surplus. In addition, we have 010917, which is a request for consideration to increase business license administration fee from $10 to $12. We have 030917, which is going to be a request for consideration to apply for a $2,500 grant for bicentennial pro programming. We have 110917, which is a request for consideration to become an official fan guide sponsor for the December 23rd, 2017 annual Birmingham Bowl. We have a request for consideration for lighting on Lancaster. That's 12. That, that was a duplicate because it was already, you already added it above. Sorry, that was a typo. It was a it's, it's been added for public safety, but there'll be two reports on it. Could, but it's still but is is the number right twelve oh nine seventeen okay yes correct. sir but we added just as you added a gotcha. second ago it's going it was in places. two places I understand that all right thirteen oh nine seventeen which is a request for consideration for phase two greenway project and let me drop that one and then we have adding to the new bin, new business uh, committee referral agenda twenty five oh nine seventeen which is a request for consideration for ADA transition plan which is going to be referred to Planning and Development Committee. And lastly, we, we have being added to new business agenda 260917, which is a request for consideration to renew traveler's insurance policy coming to us from Mayor McBrayer. We will be adding that to the new business agenda for tonight. And so without that, any uh, further questions, I would entertain a Yes, question, Mr. John. Twenty-five oh nine seventeen. Wouldn't that go to the committee referral? Didn't you say that? Yeah. Was That's what he said. He just said new business. Said committee, committee referral. referral. Oh, I'm uh -huh. sorry. That's committee referral, new business. Okay. Going to planning and development committee. Okay. Okay. Not other. Okay. Perfect. Yeah, new business. All right. Any other questions? 
All right, I'll entertain a motion to approve the uh, agenda for tonight as amended. So moved. Second. By Mr. McCluskey, second by Mr. Gwaltney. Any questions? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? All right, so the agenda does stand amended as, I mean, stands approved as amended. All right, I'm going to bring a couple of items uh, up out of order. First, I'm going to go ahead and bring up um, out of the new business agenda 260917, which is a request for consideration to renew the traveler's insurance policy coming to us from uh, Mayor McBrayer. And I know, I uh, thought maybe we had the representative from Traveler's Insurance still here. Mayor, can you? He, he was. Mr. Well, if he's not. Or Mayor, maybe you can speak to it. I don't know if. Uh, <clears throat> yeah. And I will, I will say that I had a report from the mayor's office that the invoice that we received is in line with what y'all are go hopefully going to approve tonight on the insurance fund for except for what we had budgeted for fiscal year 17, 18, but the policy renews on October 1st. All right, well, I'll tell you what, we'll, we'll uh, not take that one. We will, not, <laughs> we will not take that one out of order right now. If I see him return, Mr. Mayor, if you'll help me remember. Uh, all right, well, we'll also bring one other item up out of order, 080817, which is a request for consideration for a petition for annexation for the property located at 1809 uh, South Brook Circle. And I believe this came out of special issues tonight. Uh, uh, planning and development. Oh, I'm so sorry. My mistake. From planning and development, uh, Mr. Thames. Yes, sir. Uh, we received the legal description. Um, it was a little side discussion about the, the fee, but ultimately the committee voted 4-0 to, uh, to recommend approving the annexation. Okay. Uh, thank you, Mr. Thames. Any further questions or discussions about this item for approval of annexation at 1809 Southbrook Circle? This is an ordinance, Mr. Wright. Oh, it is an ordinance. Okay, yes, thank you. Um, well, then that we will entertain first reading then, Mr. It's an ordinance yeah. ascending to the annexation of certain property or territory to the corporate limits of the city of Homewood and to rearrange the limits of the city of Homewood, whereas all the owners of certain property or territory described herein did sign and file a written petition with the clerk requesting that the property described there and be annexed to the corporate limits of the city, and whereas the petition on file with the clerk did include a legal description of the property, together with a map of the property showing the relationship to the corporate limits of the city, and whereas the said property or territory described in the petition referred to above has been warranted by all the owners of the property to be contiguous to the corporate limits of the city located in Jefferson County and not to lie within the corporate limits or of any other municipality as shown by the map attached here to, there to, excuse me. Whereas the city council has determined and found that the matters set forth in the petition are true and, and it is in the public interest that the property be annexed to the city. Whereas the petitioner did request their petition that the city council adopt an ordinance assenting to the annexation and that the corporate limits of the city be extended and rearranged so as to embrace and include the property described. Now, therefore, be it resolved by the city council as follows that the property that the city council does assent to the annexation of the property described herein. Section 2, the pursuant to Section 1142.20 of the Code of Alabama, the following described property, 1809 Southbrook Circle, Lot 27, Block 3 of the Survey of Forest Brook Estates, is amended, is annexed into the corporate limits of the city, and the property shall be and hereby after a part of the city of Homewood upon the publishing of the ordinance. Section 3, the above described property is not within the corporate limits or police jurisdiction of any other municipality, and that the new corporate limits of the city does not lie at any point more than one-half the distance between the old corporate limits of the city and the corporate limits of any other municipality. Four, that the city agrees to comply with the provisions of Act Number 604 of the 1976 regular session pertaining to the assumption and payment of annexed fire district debt. Five, that the city clerk shall, be, shall file a certified copy of the ordinance with the Office of the Judge of Probate. Section 6, that a copy of the ordinance be forwarded to the tax assessor of Jefferson County. 
Section 7, that they're excluded from the territory annexed pursuant to this ordinance. Any portion of the territory described which may be found to be the property of any other person other than the petitioners and or which may be lie in more than one half the distance between the old corporate limits of the city and the corporate limits of any other municipality and within an overlapping police jurisdiction of city of Homewood and any other police jurisdiction of any other municipality for that a copy of the ordinance shall be published as provided by law. Thank you, Mr. Kendrick. Um, and I'll entertain a motion for unanimous consent by Mrs. Smith. Second. Second by Mr. Wyatt. Roll call vote, uh, Ms. Melody. Yes, sir. Mr. Gwaltney? Yes. Mr. Thames? Yes, ma'am. Mr. Higginbotham? Yes. Mr. Wolverton? Yes. Mr. McCluskey? Yes, ma'am. Mr. Jones? Yes. Mrs. Smith? Yes. Mr. Wyatt? Yes. Mrs. Andres? Yes. Mr. Wright? Yes. Um, and without any further discussion or questions, um, entertain a motion for approval. So moved. By uh, Mr. Higginbotham? Second. Second by Mrs. Smith. Roll call vote. Mr. Gwaltney? Yes, ma'am. Mr. Thames? Yes. Mr. Higginbotham? Yes. Mr. Wolverton? Yes. Mr. McCluskey? Yes, ma'am. Mr. Jones? Yes. Mrs. Smith? Yes. Mr. Wyatt? Yes. Mrs. Andreas? Yes. And Mr. Wright? Yes. And I think that's Ordinance 2670. Yes, sir. Yes. Mike stands uh, approved. And next item, uh, well, actually, we'll go ahead and bring up out of order um, item 080817 again, which is a, uh, excuse me, I got the wrong number here. Um, item 260917, which is a request for consideration to renew traveler's insurance policy. Um, uh, coming to us from Mayor Mc McBrayer and Mr. Zanatti. Um, and this is being added to uh, tonight's new business agenda. And um, I don't know if this can come forward, Mr. Zanatti, with regard to what this item is about in the renewal. Thank you, and I like working for y'all. <laughs> Your claims this year were only $144,000 of that. $34,000 a Melody's getting a check for because you had a Homewood police vehicle T-boned. The other driver had insurance, so they've already agreed to subrogation. So you take the 34 off of the 144, you're down to $110,000. Last year you were at about 125, so your claims are working really well right now. All the department heads are great to work with, the distracted driving, the other things. They've gone pretty much out of the way. So what's affected you, though, is your previous carrier, we have to have a five-year loss run. Each year, that carrier has upped their reserves, and nothing's happened on certain cases or claims during that period of time. And they're doing that to try and influence the rating as we go out into the marketplace. But that's only got one more year, and that will have been dropped off. So you should have some stability. You need to realize that all your rolling stock, all your vehicles and everything else, you're, you've got much newer vehicles than most other places. And you're replacing them very often, which is a good thing. And so you should not have any problems this coming year. Of course, we never know what claims are, but your guys have been doing a really good job on controlling claims. All right, Mr. Zanetti, this, and this is for uh, one year renewal? Yes, sir. Is that correct? Yes, okay. sir. It's your PNC, general liability. There's coverage on all of y'all in case you get sued or any of that stuff. Okay. Um, all right. And I ask if any questions of uh, Mr. Zanani while he's up here. Okay. All right. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Um, without any further questions or comments, I'll entertain a motion for approval to renew insurance policy. So moved. Second. By Mr. Tame. Second by Mr. Hickenbottom. Uh, mm -hmm. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? All right, so that's uh, item 2609.17, stands as approved. It's resolution Mike, 17. That is a resolution? Yes, sir. Resolution 17.142. All right. Um, gets us back to the agenda. Um, let me. 
we'll uh, begin with the old business agenda. We need uh, to go back to the consent agenda, Mr. Oh, Wright. consent agenda. Thank you. Thank you. For the consent agenda, I have it sitting right here in front of me. Um, ask for approval of the consent agenda, which frankly consisted of one item, 140917, which was, which was dropped uh, in committee uh, tonight. I'll entertain a motion for approval of the consent agenda. So, by second. Mr. McCluskey. Second by Mrs. Smith. All in favor? Aye. Uh, any Ms. opposed? Ms. Andrus. <laughs> Oh, Zandris. Oh, yes. so sorry. Doesn't right. matter. Got to be but quick. Gotta just trying to keep Melody on her toes. All right, so the consent agenda is uh, is approved. Uh, old business agenda 120517, which is a public hearing set for November 13th at 6 o'clock for consideration of a petition for annexation for the property located at 1400 Shades Crest Road, and that is set for November 13th. So we will carry that <laughs> item over, which gets us to. The budget, uh, 290817, which is a request for consideration of the Finance Committee's recommendations of the 2017-2018 budgets and adoption of resolutions appropriating sums and amounts for the following funds. And we'll take these up uh, one at a time, but we have the General Fund, the Grants Fund, the Seven Cent Gas Tax Fund, the Four Cent and Five Cent Gas Tax Fund, the Board of Education Trust Fund, the Debt Service Fund, the Capital Projects Fund, Environmental Escrow Fund, our Insurance Fund, E911 Fund, Corrections and Jail Budget Fund, uh, the Corrections and Court Fund, our Court Special Fund, um, our IT Fund, um, and our GOW16 Construction Fund, and finally our Judicial Administrative Fund. And I'll um, start with uh, reports from finance. Mr. Jones, looks like we're going to have several from you, uh, <laughs> beginning first with our general fund, which includes cost of living allowance uh, for COLA. Okay. Uh, thank you, Mr. President. Uh, as uh, as I've always uh, known to do, I want to make some opening comments before we, before we uh, start uh, the, the motions, but uh, I, I do want to, uh, I do want to thank uh, I want to thank you, uh, Mr. Wright, uh, for attending the meetings, uh, Mr. Thames, Mr. Higginbotham, Mrs. Smith for attending, and all the other council members for being there. It, it means a lot when we really had uh, every, everyone on the council in attendance uh, for most of our meetings. Uh, we met on uh, the uh, 7th uh, uh, of September, and then we met on the 12th, we met on the 13th, we met on the 18th, we met on the 19th. Uh, and, and really, we, we moved along uh, so well that we, we were able to cancel uh, our meeting on the 20th. So I was, I was happy about that. Uh, we learned a lot uh, about, the, uh, about the city. Uh, we thank uh, the mayor, we thank you, Mr. Mayor, uh, for, for putting together a really good budget. And from the presentation you made, uh, very few changes that were, were made. There were a few things that we, we picked up. I'll point out a couple of things, um, but very good budget. And I appreciate all the time that you spent with department heads uh, to uh, to work through all of the items with that. And thank you uh, to uh, Ms. Salter and Robert. Thank you for all the time that you spent uh, working through the uh, the different items and being patient with us. We had we had lots of uh, questions, and uh, Robert was our official note taker. And uh, so you had to make sure that we handled uh, everything that came up as a question. So there were just a few things that um, uh, came up and we answered. Um, we basically for, um, I guess, the, 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 uh, uh, the main thing that we're, we're doing is we're, we're supporting the COLA as presented. So we're, we're, we'll be, uh, we'll be uh, recommending uh, the, the COLA for, uh, for the 2%. Uh, we're also merits, uh, all merits uh, will, will also be uh, recommended. Uh, so all of those have, have, uh, have an amount uh, and we're, we're in full support of all of that. Um, one thing that did happen, uh, once we got the budget, we tried to find out if the health insurance was increasing and we didn't think it was increasing, but then we found out that it was increasing uh, by 1.5%. Uh, so we did have to, uh, to make that motion. And, and what was, uh, what was uh, I don't know, with a, with a large budget like this, uh, Ms. Salter was 
not real happy about that and she called it you know it's the elephant in the room and it and ended up being a thirty four thousand dollar expenditure yeah but it caused us to have to mend a bunch of line items and then you compared it to budgets in the past and it just totally disheartened me that's right that's Budgets right. before so we that, got that here that sums it up right there that uh that these things matter and, and pennies matter to miss salter we appreciate that Amen. um so again we're recommending the two percent cola uh the uh the cost for that is three hundred and sixty three thousand dollars um, the merit increases, uh, we're recommending those at $250,000. Um, the RSA pension percentage, we uh, increased uh, that up to 13.9%, and so that was uh, uh, approximate cost to the city of $43,000. Um, so altogether, all of that, we're, uh, uh, the, the total cost for uh, the merit, Sokola, the pension, all of the insurance costs were uh, a little under 700,000, so 690,000. Uh, we did increase contractual services uh, up to 90,000. Uh, that, as the chamber had uh, had made mention earlier, uh, the contract uh, we're we're looking at uh, Daniels, and then we're also looking at, at more social media presence, uh, and we uh, we want to invest in that. Um, we also added. Um, we, we've continued to get feedback from uh, residents in terms of wanting to have more mature trees within the city. So uh, we've put in $20,000 as a new line item for mature tr uh, tree planting uh, and then 5,000 for the Kiwanis uh, Centennial Project. So those were the, uh, the, the, main, the main highlights. Uh, in addition, what you'll also see um, with all of the, you know, the, uh, the merit increases, the cost of living increases, uh, we're also going to uh, recommend, and it's a little bit further down on the budget, but uh, or on, on the agenda. But we are recommending, uh, you know, a one-time bonus uh, pending a, a surplus. And really, what that what that means, you know, is if you have between one and three years uh, of uh, tenure within the city, it's a one-time $350. And, and that is, and that's a, a gross, I mean, that's a net amount. So we're paying for the taxes. So they're gonna get $350. We're paying for all the taxes to FICA. If you have between four and six years of, of experience, $500. Uh, seven to nine years tenure, $750. 10 to 15 years, $1,000. 16 to 19 years, a one-time uh, $1,500. And then 20 plus years, a $2,000 bonus. Now we've done this uh, for the last four years, and the employees really, really appreciate it. Uh, you know, and I think, I think back to, uh, uh, you know, family uh, Christmas vacation. You know, when Chevy Chase got the Jelly Club of the Month Club or whatever <laughs> it was. So this is money that uh, that they will be getting in November, pending that. So we're not, we don't want to do the Jelly of the Month Club here. We want to, we want to give a bonus right right okay right mr p <laughs> okay so perfect so anyway that's in it you know that's not part of this motion here to approve all of these funds uh and um hunter i'm sorry this is kind of boring but i mean we're, we're going to work through it we're going to work through it but so this is all in addition you got to suffer for that merit badge okay yeah so my son hill thinks it's boring also so anyway with that uh we were unanimous with everything we had a few spirited conversations there towards the end I expected that that was a lot of fun uh, but <laughs> we voted five to zero uh, for every one of these funds so that will be my report from finance for for these 16 uh, various funds uh, five to zero coming out of finance all right very well well we will have to take each of them up uh, one at a time I do have one question for you Walter and I don't want to uh, put you on the spot but I'm just <laughs> curious in regard to not the subject of this motion, but the bonuses uh, for November. What what was the sort of the sum total of that? Not to exceed three fifty. Not to exceed three fifty. Yeah. Um, uh, in regard to these bonuses, so yeah, that's and, and I know, but, but when you when you add it to the budget, you're talking about a million dollars. That's a million dollars of uh, pluses, you know, going out to our employees. So uh, that's certainly something worth worth noting, and mm -hmm. I know we're. We're just thrilled to death to be able to, to do that. So, all right, thank you, Mr. Jones. All right, so we will begin with um, the general fund budget, which, as Mr. Jones outlined, does include a cost of living allowance um, of 2%. Uh, it's coming out of finance with um, a 5-0 unanimous vote for approval. So with that, I will um, 
Go and ask uh, all in favor. Aye. Aye. Any opposed with regard to general? And so that stands as proved. That would be. Mike, I lost count. 143. Resolution 143. I'll 17, keep up. 143. 17 143. So I'll keep up here. Now, with regard to our grants budget, also coming out of finance, a 5 to 0 vote. This would be resolution 17 144. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? That stands approved. Uh, seven cent gas tax uh, coming out of finance with unanimous approval. Resolution 17 145. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? That stands approved. The four cent and five cent gas tax fund coming out of finance with approval. This will be resolution 17 146. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? So 17 146 is approved. Next budget will be the Board of Education Trust Fund, uh, which came out of finance with a favorable vote. Uh, this will be resolution 17 147. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? That uh, fund is approved. Next will be the Debt Service Fund, which came out of finance with approval. Resolution 17-148. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? That stands approved. Capital Projects Fund, coming out of finance with approval as well. Resolution 17-149. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? So 17-149 uh, is approved. Next would be the Environmental Escrow Fund, which also came out of finance with an unanimous vote. Uh, resolution 17-150, all in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? So 17-150 is approved as well. Next will be the Insurance Fund, coming out of finance with approval. Resolution 17-151, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? So Run 51 is approved. 17151 is approved as well. Next will be the E911 fund, which uh, received a favor favorable vote out of finance. This will be resolution 17152. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? 17152 is approved as well. Next will be the the corrections jail fund, coming out of finance with unanimous approval. Resolution 17153. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? So 17153 is approved as well. Next will be the Corrections Court Fund, um, coming out of finance with a favorable vote. This will be Resolution 17154. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? So 17154 stands approved as well. A few more here. Next will be the Court Special Fund, uh, coming out of finance with a unanimous 5-0 vote. This will be resolution 17-155. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? That fund stands approved as well. Next will be the technology fund coming out of finance with, with a favorable vote. Resolution 17-156. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? So 17-156 is approved as well. Then we have the and I'm going to pause here just a second so I can learn something. GOW 16 Construction Fund. That's the government uh, warrant. Thank you. <laughs> it, didn't, it didn't hit me when I was reading through. Um, this general obligation warrants uh, 16 Construction Fund was approved in finance with a 5 to 0 vote. Um, this will be resolution 17157. <laughs> Without any further questions about it, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? So 17157 is approved. And I believe our last one is the Judicial Administrative Fund coming out of finance with a unanimous 5 to 0 vote. This will be resolution 17158. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? So, Melody, I believe that covers all of the budget items of um yes sir mistaken. and thank you so much from the finance director here for approving the budget Whew. and can i take the day off tomorrow <laughs> the mayor said i could <laughs> no pressure or anything we're on tv on that? With, <laughs> melody with, with all the authority I, that i you know uh, have on that vested in me i hereby um give you the day off tomorrow thank you because i have an 18 year old daughter that is super mad at me right now because she's tired of hearing about the budget and wants me to be more available to her <laughs> well thank you for your good work on that um, thank you all right next item will be 300817 which is a public hearing tonight uh for consideration of a variance uh to the excuse me this yeah tonight uh this is continued to tonight uh for consideration of a variance to the signed ordinance at 279 lakeshore parkway and 
Ms. Vanessa. Yes, sir. They've requested to drop this variance, please. Ah. Second. Move to drop by Mr. Oh, do I need to, I don't, do I have to worry about the, do I have to worry about closing the public hearing or anything like that, Mike? Well, uh, it w was it carried over? Yes. It was yes, carried over. Continue. Close the public hearing. All right, we're going to close the public hearing. You guys slow down a little bit. Uh, close the public hearing. And now we'll consideration a motion to drop by Mr. Thames. By Mr. Sorry. Thames and a second by Mr. McCluskey. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? All right, so item 300817 stands uh, dropped. Next item will be 1908-17, which is a request for consideration of changing the construction working hours defined in section 5.9.1 regulations concerning the issuance of building and construction permits. Uh, this was carried over from last, actually it was last week's uh, council meeting. Um, and I don't know, um, I, Mr. Gwaltney, I don't know if you can maybe update us on where we stand on this. Can we carry it over for one more week? Okay, without any objection or discussion, I certainly have no problem with that. Um, it's carried over to the next uh, president to serve here. Um, <laughs> and be glad to do that. So without objection, we will carry over 1908-17 again. Next item will be 060917, which is a public hearing set for October 9th at 6 o'clock uh, for consideration to set a public hearing to consider declaring the property located at 1801 Kensington Road a public nuisance due to a violation of the ordinances of ordinances 1910 and 1750 excessive growth that is again carried it without objection carried over what's well, going to have to be carried over for public hearing for October 9th 070917 also a public hearing for October 9th for consideration to set a public hearing to consider declaring the property located at 1000 Forest Brook a public nuisance due to a violation of ordinances 1910 and 1750 excessive growth without objection we will carry that over as well and 080917 a public hearing set for October 9th to consider declaring the property located at 1602 Ridge Road a public nuisance due to a violation of ordinances 1910 and 1750 excessive growth will also be carried over without objection and next we have on the agenda uh, 100917 which is also a public hearing set for October 9th at 6 o'clock for consideration of a variance to the signed ordinance at 1745 Oxmoor Road now this is um, we I have down here do we get a report from special yeah, issues on this out, yeah about okay we did talk about this thank you if you can go ahead and give us we're going to get a report we're going to get a report from special issues even though the public hearing is going to be set for October 9th um, at 6 o'clock okay Mrs. Uh, Smith we met just before the meeting and uh, voted 5 to 0 to send this out without recommendation pending the public hearing on October 9th okay. all right great so we will um, accept that report and without objection we'll certainly carry this over uh, for action until after the public hearing on October 9th 2017 Next item is 180917, which is a request to approve, ex approve expenditures of Exhibit A from HPM Management on behalf of the Board of Education um, from the Construction Fund. And we're going to carry that item over as well without any objection. Uh, next, I have 220817, which is a request for consideration to work in the city right of way at Ventura Avenue. Uh, coming to us from Daniel McCurry with Father Nature Landscaping and our Engineering and Zoning Department, and I believe we have a report from Special Issues on this. Mrs. Smith. Um, yes, Mr. McCurry um, came in front of our committee tonight and assured us that he is going to do a, what's called a will dig, I now know, um, so that the root balls of the trees that they're planting will be deep enough um, to not interfere with the sidewalks that are there. Um, so we voted, um, knowing that, we voted 5-0 to, to approve the identification agreement and allow the planting of those trees in the city right away. So the uh, motion was made by Ms. Anderson, and seconded by Mr. Hickman. All right, thank you, Mrs. Smith. Um, I certainly have a, I don't have a question, I just I have, so um, I want to learn a little bit more about uh, planting with a deep root ball to avoid those sidewalks. So. Uh, I may take that item up myself, but um, and that was a, that was part of the motion was to approve it using that dig that he that technique. Okay. Uh, could I ask one question? Yes, Mr. Jones. Um, 
one question was um, did did we look at it from a traffic perspective based on them be becoming mature yes well they're actually going in um, almost mature um, they're uh, what we tell the canopy is six and a half feet to start um, okay. so it, it, and they, they've already looked at it. There's no sight line. No sight lines. No. Okay. Mr. Pugh had looked at it. There's not a sight line. Thank you. Uh, any further questions? Yeah, Mr. Thames? And I guess this is really for Mr. Pugh. Um, is there any way through an inspection process that we can confirm he does use that deep well dig method? It's supposed to, it's supposed to get his final landscape plan approved with BZ. That is, he said that would be a part of the. It's in the resolution. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Very good. Thank you. All right. Any further questions? Discussion? I'd right, entertain a motion for approval. Oh, I'm sorry. All right. Uh, came from committee. Um, all in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? All right. And that will be. 159. Resolution 159. Thank you. Stands approved. Next item will be 170917, which is a request to work in the city right away at 319 Grand Avenue. Also coming to us from Father Nature Landscaping and Mr. Pugh. And we get a report from special issues on this one as well. Mrs. Smith. Uh, yeah, this is exactly the same thing except with uh, different trees. Instead of four metal oaks, it's going to be three Chinese elms, um, which is referred also to Chinese elms. Um, and then the other thing that we have I'm a, I am by no means a tree expert, but by golly, I've learned about deep digs and trees that you can actually plant close to sidewalks. Okay, I got a lot more to learn. Okay, any further questions or astounding thoughts uh, from members of the council? I wonder, well, we have, a, we had, that was approved. I'm sorry, yes, that was, uh, a motion was made um, by Mr. Higginbotham, seconded by Ms. Anderson, and was voted by the zero to send out. With all right, so we're coming out of uh, special issues with approval. Without any further questions, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? That's resolution uh, 17160. 43160. <clears throat> all right, next item is going to be 080817, which is a request for consideration of. We, oh, we did that me, one. My, my mistake. We've already took that one up out of order. Um, it's going to be 150817, which is a request to consider funding employee bonuses um, projected um, from fiscal year 1617 general fund surpluses to be paid in November 2017. And this coming to us from finance, uh, Mr. Jones. Uh, yes, sir. Just remember to go back to 120917. Um, that I think you skipped that, but. Um, I'll go ahead and report out. Um, we met tonight at 5:15, and I don't. This has just been a crazy night. All these committee meetings, but uh, we met, that. voted five to zero to approve this. As I have mentioned before, this is up to three hundred fifty thousand um, uh, dollars. Basically, the, I've given you the tiers. That, uh, it's really the same as last year. So uh, we uh, coming out of finance five to zero. All right. Thank you, Mr. Jones. Uh, any questions or discussion? Without any question or discussion, uh, all in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? All right, so that stands as approved. Mr. Jones, the one item you just referenced, it's going to be on down a little bit further because it's it's coming out of two, com yet. two committees, but we'll get down to it in a minute. Um, you'll give a report during the public safety version. It's down a little bit further. Oh, oh. We didn't skip it, but it's down a little bit further on his on his script. Thank you. Okay. All right, that's going to that's be resolution 17 that we just approved. Uh, 161. 161. Yes, sir. All right, next item is... 160817, which is a request to consider transfer to capital projects fund from general fund projected fiscal year 1617 surplus. Also coming to us from finance, Mr. Jones. Uh, yes, sir. The uh, committee met tonight. Uh, Mr. Thames made the motion. Mrs. Smith seconded it. Uh, this is uh, not to exceed $500,000 uh, uh, transfer to capital from general, uh, five to zero. Okay, any further discussion or questions about this item? 
Seeing none, I'll, uh, all in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? And that's resolution 17-162 stands as approved. Uh, next item I have uh, is 010917, which is a request for consideration to increase business license administration fee from $10 to $12. Um, this coming to us, I believe, this, did this come to us through finance? Yes, sir. Um, yes, sir. The, yeah, the Finance Committee was very, very excited about this item. I mean, you know, there, there are right, Mr. Jones, thank really, you. people really excited. So Mr. Thames was, you know, very excited about this. So he, he made the motion and Mrs. Smith seconded it in uh, five to zero uh, to approve uh, uh, to approve that item 17163. All right. Well, as I understand, well, this is an ordinance. ordinance. Oh, it's an ordinance. That's right. That's right. So, um, so, so Mike, I guess we'll have... Um, and, and it was and, and did you say it was approved it was approved five to zero right. uh, but I, I don't i didn't think we had an ordinance yet so do we, we do do we have an ordinance yes sir we do all right perfect. if you can perfect. provide us with first reading thank you mr kendrick it's an ordinance to amend section 6-3 entitled license term minimum license of article one entitled in general of chapter six entitled business license tax and regulations of the code of alabama bill ordained by the city council at section 6-3 uh, is amended to read as follows. And the only change essentially is under paragraph, subparagraph C that says each license issued there shall be issued for a fee collected of $12 and said issued fee shall be collected in the same manner as the license tax section two that all other provisions of chapter six, not other than section six as three subsection C are remain in full force and effect. Section five, any part of provision or declared to be unconstitutional or invalid by a court of competent jurisdiction and all other parts of provisions remain in full force and effect. Section four, that any rules or regulations or ordinance in conflict with business ordinance declared null and void and specifically repealed in section five the ordinance shall become effective immediately upon its adoption by the city council. All right, thank you, Mr. Kendrick. Um, I'll now entertain a motion for unanimous consent. So moved, sir. <laughs> I have a motion by Mr. McCluskey and a second by Mr. McCluskey. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I had Smith. I had Miss Smith. I have a second by Mrs. Smith. Um, uh, Are you here, do you have the second? By Mrs. Smith. Oh. Um, okay. Roll call vote, uh, Ms. Mellon. Uh, Mr. Waltney? <laughs> yes, ma'am. Mr. Thames? Yes, ma'am. Mr. Higginbotham? Yes. Mr. Wolverton? Yes. Mr. McCluskey? Yes, ma'am. Mr. Jones? Yes. Mrs. Smith? Yes. Mr. Wyatt? Yes. Mrs. Andrus? Yes. Mr. Wright? Yes. And with that, I will now entertain a motion for approval so by Mrs. Smith. Second. And a second by Mr. Gwalton. <laughs> Plus, has now become gun shy. And uh, Ms. Melody, if you can do a roll Mr. call vote for yes, us, Yes, sir. Please. Mr. Gwaltney? Yes, ma'am. Mr. Thames? Yes, ma'am. Mr. Higginbotham? Yes. Mr. Wolverton? Yes. Mr. McCluskey? Yes, Mr. Jones? Yes. Mrs. Smith? Yes. Mr. Wyatt? Yes. Mrs. Andres? Yes. And Mr. Wright? Yes, and that would be Ordinance 2671. Yes, sir. Stands as approved. Thank you. Um, next item is 030917, which is a request for consideration to apply for a $2,500 grant for bicentennial programming. Um, coming to us from uh, Mrs. Fowl, our library director, and a report from finance, uh, Mr. Jones. Uh, yes, sir, Mr. President. The uh, committee uh, met, voted five to zero. Mr. Higginbotham made the motion. Ms. Smith seconded. So the twenty-five hundred dollars. We're excited about that too. Five to zero. All right. Thank you. Coming out of finance with a five to zero vote, without any questions or discussion. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? All right. So that uh, resolution. One sixty-three. One sixty what? Three. Three. One sixty-three stands as approved. Thank you. Uh, next item is eleven oh nine seventeen, which is a request for consideration to become an official fan guide sponsor for the December twenty-third, two thousand seventeen annual Birmingham Bowl. Also coming to us from finance, yeah. Mr. Jones. Uh, yes, sir, Mr. President. The uh, committee met vote uh, five to zero to approve this. Yes. This is coming out of the advertising line item. It's a thousand dollars, and we did this last year. Uh, five to zero. All right. Thank you, Mr. Jones. Coming out of finance with a favor favorable vote. Any questions or discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? That's resolution 17-164 is approved. Next is 1209-17, which is a request for consideration for lighting on Lancaster. Uh, coming to us from public. Oh, I have two reports. I guess one from 
Let's start with public safety first from Mr. McCluskey. Um, yes, after the uh, recommendation from Randy Hamley with the Traffic Maintenance Division, uh, Mrs. Andrews made a motion and Mr. Wolverton seconded and it was voted four to zero uh, for approval and then sent to finance. All right, and with that, I think I can toss it to Mr. Jones for a report from finance on 120917. Uh, Yes, sir. The uh, Finance Committee uh, voted five to zero uh, to approve up to $450 out of the seven cent gas tax for the three lights as recommended by public safety. It was a five zero vote? Five zero. All right. So we're coming out of finance with a five zero vote. Any further questions or discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? And that will be resolution 17 165. Stands as approved. <clears throat> Next item I have on our agenda um, is 1309-17, which is a request for consideration for the phase two Greenway project. Uh, this was, 1309-17 was sent to finance, so I think this is actually sitting in finance, so I don't think there's actually a report tonight. Um, is that correct, Melody? Is that? Um, I have 130917. I've got the report, but that's basically what it okay, is. It, well, was, it was voted on uh, and four to zero to send to finance. Uh, motion was made by Mr. McCluskey and seconded by Mr. Wolverton. Okay, and so just. Sorry, you think it's public works. I had the report out to send to finance, so that's why you thought it was finance. Okay. All right, and just to be uh, official, uh, no questions or discussion. All in favor? Uh, Aye. Uh, any opposed? So that uh, item will go to finance. Um, Committee referral agenda um, uh, has been amended, and I'll ask for a uh, motion for approval of it. So by second. Mr. McCluskey, second by Mrs. Andrus. Uh, all in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? So that agenda, again, is amended, stand it's approved. That gets us to other new business. Uh, agenda 230917, which is a request to set a public hearing and referral to the Special Issues Committee for consideration of a variance to a signed ordinance at 1760 Oxmoor Road. We have a public hearing set for October 23rd at 6 p.m. Uh, so we will go ahead and, and set that public hearing for that time. Um, and next item and last item, 240917, which is a request for consideration of approval of vouchers for the period of September 18th, 2017 through September 24, 2017. And Mr. Jones, coming through your committee, but I know who did the work. Mrs. Smith. Yes. This is her for last, the last time. time. Last time. Oh, you yeah. guys quit. I'm almost as excited as Melody is about passing the budget. Quit that joyful glee, because I know who's next. Because so. it's coming to you. <laughs> Um, well, I got here at 6 a.m. to approve the budget. Luckily, it was a really small run, so I was done by 6.30. Um, so I would move that we pay the vouchers for this period. All right. So I'll uh, entertain a second by Mr. Jones. Any further questions or discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? All right. Well, that gets us to the end of tonight and uh, our announcements. Uh, Mr. Mayor. Mr. Chairman, um, I, I wanted to take just a second to thank you. Uh, um, actually, I should have said Mr. President, and then I was about to say Mr. Chairman, Mr. Jones, um, for um, the work that the Finance Committee um, did with us. And um, you brought up a good point that it, it, although the Finance Committee was making the recommendation out to the full council, that everyone on the council participated. Uh, whether they were on the finance committee or not. I think it says a lot. Um, um, I appreciate the way y'all treated me and JJ and Melody, Robert, uh, all of us. We, we did work hard to give you a, a good budget. We were proud of the budget. Extremely pleased that you passed it tonight with relatively few um, um, changes. But I would hope the general public would also understand the reason sometimes we have so few changes is because we talk uh, throughout the year. Uh, so I appreciate the work. Uh, I appreciate the time away from your families to uh, give us a good budget and something to work forward with on this next coming year. Uh, 
and we'll work hard to stay um, within that budget and you know we'll we'll be watching it operating the city uh, and I just appreciate your service I appreciate you as my friends being on here and helping me with the budget process it's an exciting time for Homewood so we've just finished uh, a fiscal year and we're going to start again so uh, and I expect uh, us to have a, a very uh, productive and prosperous uh, year and with your help and I, I know we'll do it so thank you mr. president thank you mr. mayor thank you very much um, all right mr. Gwaltney announcements uh, no major announcements I would, would echo the mayor so I, I had a good experience for the first time going through the uh, the process and uh, thank you for all of your hard work Melody Robert JJ mr. mayor say and you made it easy on us, but it was a, a good learning experience. And thank you, Council, for entertaining me remotely one time. So <laughs> it was a, a great experience in listening. It was like people people thought it was odd because I was standing in the corner of a, of a <laughs> gas station in a restaurant like this. <laughs> so I could hear my headset. Great. great. Thank you, Mr. Gwaltney. Thanks for your participation in budget hearings as well. Mr. Thames. Thank you for letting us know that phone works. <laughs> yeah. I don't think I knew that. <laughs> Um, and obviously, thank you to Melody and, and, and Robert for our, and their whole staff for all the incredible work they do. Uh, Melody, you make my head spin half the time um, when you're pounding out on your 10 key and talking at the same time. <clears throat> um, but I wanted to thank I wanted to thank the mayor specifically, Andy, and the mayor and I had a meeting six or eight months ago, maybe in Lee Center, and it was a spirited meeting. And there was one moment where uh, I think we were being asked to sign a petition or some sort of piece of paper, and the mayor stood up and said, uh, and I'm going to paraphrase, it won't sound as good as when Scott said it, uh, don't judge us by whether we put our names on a piece of paper or not, judge us by if we do what we say we're going to do. And um, specifically to that, thank you, Mayor, for including in the budget and council for approving uh, $350 for Spring Park. I believe we said we were going to do that that night. Um, there's yeah, let's, also let's make that 350,000. I'm sorry. Yes. <laughs> $350,000 uh, for Spring Park. Uh, there's also money in there for abatements, which process has started. Something else we committed to doing that night. That's very important. I uh, appreciated the mayor saying it, and I appreciated it including it in the budget. And thank you, council, for passing it. Um, we had lots of spirited discussions, but I think for the first time, in my five years, the COLA was not a spirited discussion, which is a good thing. That's great. It's something we were able to, to do for our uh, employees and do it unanimously. Um, so there's lots of exciting things in here. I had a great time, as always, doing it. Um, and I'm looking forward to starting the new fiscal year. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Thames. Uh, oh, oh. Committees. oh, yeah, committees, yes. Um, and finance is already set. Yeah, I think finance has got the next few meetings that start at five. They've had already public, we're publicly noticing today because we had to let the board know. So five is, is taken. What do you need, 30 minutes? Yeah, 30 minutes. Yeah. It worked out pretty well, didn't it? <laughs> well, see, how, see how he did I was it. forced to do it. Start calling early. Okay. Um, so 5 p.m. for finance. Um, did five, you say you need an hour, half hour? Uh, 30 minutes. 30 minutes, okay. So 10 to October 2nd. 530 then for P and D and that's we have this a uh, ADA uh, presentation I've not seen it yet it is 15 minutes Probably enough probably okay so you got the brochures last year, right I can send those out to you please do yep uh, 530 15 minutes should be enough P and D all right thank you mr. James mr. Hickamon Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Since the hour is late, I'm, I'm not going to belabor this other than to thank all those involved with the budget process. Um, it's a little bit different experience uh, getting to sit at the table than sit over in the corner, and which I've done many, many, many times throughout the budget process. So um, uh, it, it, it's something that's, I think, worthwhile to go through, though, and to see the level of detail involved and, and to see um, the work that was put in before we ever touched the document and, and the discussions that went on around various issues were very um, cordial but spirited and um, I just like to thank everybody that was involved I think it was a good process and um, I've always heard you, you you can't you can't hit a, a 
can't hit a straight lick with a cro crooked stick. So you got to have a good process to have a good result. So I'm, I'm pretty satisfied with the result myself. Thank you. All right. Thank you, Mr. Higginbottom. Mr. Warburton. Uh, a couple couple quick things. Um, I wanted to thank uh, Jamie and Berkeley for um, dealing with uh, something that we had passed a, a couple months ago um, regarding the end of the street on Edge and all. The guys were out there last week or so and uh, and got all that taken care of. It looks great. Um, also, I'm going to steal probably Barry's thunder here, but the football team <laughs> won the homecoming game. Um, so it's good to know that we didn't get jinxed by calling out the victory last week. Um, but uh, it's just been fun to kind of see everybody else, in, uh, everybody else posting kids going to homecoming dance and things like that. Um, I'm not sure if I'm dreading that yet or not. Um, we're, we were in the midst of potty training the two-year-old this weekend. So that, that time seems a that bit far off, but I'm sure it's going to come a lot sooner than, than planned. Um, I appreciate everybody else's hard work with, with the budget thing. Apologize for not being able to be there a couple times. My daughter's birthday was one of those evenings, and then I had patients scheduled uh, on a couple of a couple of the other days. But um, thanks to Melody for sending out the minutes so that I could read over all that stuff. Um, I'd like to thank uh, Chief Frost and the police department for coming out and helping uh, with some of the recent things. Um, regarding traffic uh, and issues with uh, Raleigh and Kent. And I think that's, that's pretty much it. And thank you, Peter, for crushing these last two weeks um, and Bruce's absence because there was a lot of stuff to amend and add, and I think you killed it. So I appreciate it, and I think killed it is a compliment. But, um, <laughs> but <laughs> thank you for that, and, and, and we'll be sure to... Yeah, oh show my age a little bit. We'll and and we'll let Mr. Limbaugh know when he gets back. So, all right, Mr. McCluskey, uh, you did a good <laughs> job. <laughs> slow down, slow down, slow down. Okay. Um, no, uh, th uh, thank you to everybody for for the budget. I, I mean, we, everybody up here is gonna gonna say something uh, to that effect. Uh, but we just. You guys do such a great job, and uh, and it makes it easy for us. So, Mayor and Melody, and everybody else will, that was involved, and of course the Finance Committee. Um, I will defer my uh, committee meeting for public safety to the end. So, after Mr. Wright calls Public Works, we'll just add uh, public safety. That's just do you see? Do you see how nice that I'm being to way you? Too nice. Huh. I'm gonna have to make a like uh, a contribution to your campaign uh, next time. <laughs> <laughs> And that's it. <laughs> Thank you so much, Mr. McCluskey. All right, Mr. Jones. Uh, my, yeah, my son was one of the ones that uh, had a big homecoming date on Saturday night. He was supposed to pick her up at 6 o'clock, and at 545, he was taking a nap. Uh, so <laughs> that, that's what you've got so to get. you got to get used to that. Yeah, that that's what you're going to be accustomed to when they're 16. So, uh, awesome. But he, he, he got ready and, got, and picked her up <laughs> pretty quickly, yeah. I had to tie his bow tie, but he was good. So anyway, uh, yeah, I appreciate Melody. Thank you so much. I've, I've really enjoyed working with you, and um, I, I appreciate um, all the many hours. And uh, it's just it's been a pleasure working through that, and uh, and look forward to many more. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Jones. I'm gonna reserve some comments for you later, but uh, Mrs. Smith. Um. I'm not going to belabor the point, but kudos to everybody who was involved in the budget because it really was a very smooth process um, and that I can remember from my participation. And thank you to Mr. Jones because he always makes it easy on the rest of us, which is very, very nice. Um, I will not let Andrew steal my thunder because I'm going to be a gushy football mom. Sorry, that's what I'm going to do. Um, we did win 37-7 um, to 7, uh, versus Helena Friday night, uh, making us 5-0. and 0 on the season and we have this Friday off, thank goodness. And um, we have uh, John Carroll at John Carroll as our next game. So um, yeah, come out and support the Patriots. And that's, oh, and I have to set my yeah. meeting, don't I? Um, okay, special, is special issues. So I guess 545, I'm not gonna be super nice and 
defer. Um, special issues starting at 545 and I didn't honestly look very closely at how many referral agenda items I have, but we're going to talk through the um, odor ordinance. So let me public safety, public safety, finance, finance, special. I just have one item on referral. So I think probably I'm going to just be really bold and say 15 minutes. Okay. Ooh. Thank you, Mr. Smith. Mr. Wyatt. Thank you. Uh, first, I want to say thank you to the Chamber of Commerce for uh, offering to pay some money to help us uh, with um, the Daniel Communities Project. Um, and I think it's a good use of that money that they had, and I, I appreciate them bringing it to us. Uh, secondly, I'd like to just echo what everyone else has said. Uh, everyone involved with uh, the budget, thank you. Those involved beforehand in the meetings, everything else. you. You really take what is a daunting and difficult project and make it easy for us. So thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Wyatt. Mrs. Andrews. Yes, ditto. And, and they're so pleasant, too. I mean, Robert and Melody and you guys and the mayor, I mean, I'll just, it's very easy. It was a very uh, smooth transaction, and I enjoyed learning about how the city operates. And uh, as first budget process, I thought it was very enjoyable. I actually look forward to coming up here and spending the afternoons with you guys, so I appreciate it. Um, I want to remind everybody tomorrow here from 12 to 1.30 and also from 5.30 to 7, the Regional Planning Commission is launching the Heart of Homewood um, Master Downtown Plan. Um, there will be uh, maps up on the walls here. Folks are going to come by. If you could send out, if you guys have a um, communication with your wards, if you'll send that information out if you need it. I've got it on my Facebook page, and I can also send you a PDF of it. Um, but we just need as much community involvement as possible to get their feedback on um, their thoughts for downtown and future development. And, um, you know, if, the, if it was a blank slate, what, what did they want to see? And we'd love to hear their thoughts on that. So that's tomorrow. Uh, we have a lunchtime session and also an evening session. Wonderful. Thank you, Ms. Andrews. Um, and I'm uh, not going to belabor it, but I'm going to at least echo everyone's thoughts because, because they're worth echoing because uh, a few of us, maybe Mr. McCluskey, I know Mr. Jones recalls some of the long, arduous days of doing this budget work. Where, ladies and gentlemen, it took months and it was a task uh, beyond description from what has been described to me. I think the mayor knows that. I think JJ knows that from their days. And I, I know we don't take it for granted. So when everyone comes through here and they say thank you and congratulations, I think that is actually very important because it's really showing that we do not take this easy process. I say easy, it was hard work, but it went so smooth and and that's for a lot of reasons. And Mayor, it does start with you for putting emphasis, caring about your budget, making it a priority of your administration and what you do and what you stand for. You've been doing it, I lost track of how many years I've been doing this, but about seven or eight now. And it's just, uh, I don't take it for granted. I'm, it's a task and I'm just grateful that you make that a priority of what you do as mayor for the city. And, uh, and it shows and, and how it was handled so smoothly. And Melody and Robert and your staff and crew, it's just, you know, beyond description of how you all do it and how you care about it. And it's important for you, even to the penny. It's crazy, but um, it really is to be admired. And I wish all the citizens sometimes could come and sit in these committee. I know they wouldn't wish to do that, but they could sit in these budget hearings with us and see us fussing over $10 sometimes, $10,000 other times. and bigger numbers other times and it is it is to be admired and our and the city should be proud of its mayor and its finance department in making this a priority and frankly they should also be proud of their finance chairman mr. Jones Walter you you follow in the same footsteps of making this a priority to do this right we turn up schedules upside down during the month of September and we all got jobs and you make it a priority and you organize and you keep us on task and then lastly to the finance committee members who have been there for every single budget hearing I know I had to leave early a couple of times but um, it is to be admired to have them and and the rest of the council it um, that's the largest participation I've seen in my eight years regarding the full council participation and I'm grateful for that 
and your constituents should be grateful for that as we make this budget work and uh, and the process work and it is to be admired and so it is worth a few extra comments I won't belabor it anymore other than a big congratulations uh, to those who worked so hard in this budget and so glad that we got it approved and Mr. I'd like to give a shout out to my staff because not only do they help me work hard for the whole summer when everybody wants to go and take on vacation and whatnot and they do get vacation but uh, they also they have to live with me and that is they probably need hazard duty pay because I am something to behold during the budget season I can promise you I hope you have some weaknesses somewhere okay I know, right? um, exactly I was like so, I don't believe that so. all right well thank you again Melody um all right I do have public works from my gracious comrade here open um I don't have my agenda do you, do you have it there Alex I, I I know uh, it, carried, if I even need one. You carried one item over uh, about the um, sidewalk at Marriott, at the hotel. And there's nothing. Lake Shore. All right. Well, then, then I'll, it'll be 15 minutes at most, and we'll see what, if any progress we have on that. Um, so um, I can either set that at 545 or no, I think I'll do it. Six. Six. She's got 545. I've got 545. Oh, I'm so sorry. Um, then I'll make it at six. Will that be okay? Can you do six fifteen, Mr. McCluskey? Okay. Everybody has all that. And with that, we are done. And tonight's meeting stands as adjourned. Thank you, everybody. I'm a killed girl.